your top five, uh, was it your top five off the rails mascot? Yeah, names? yeah. Was that thing? Our, our, our good friend uh, George Dunham from the ticket. He called me on the drive back from Fort Worth yesterday and said, "Listen, we're doing a thing in the morning, and we're talking about the Seattle Kraken." He goes, "Which I think is just a ridiculous mascot name, the Kraken." And I laughed. And he said, "But I want to do a thing where we talk about the most." wheels off mascot names of all time and you are the person that would i could would you would you pop on with us i said well of course you know whatever whatever for you guys you know whatever so they called me and they asked me for uh the five my top five nuttiest high school mascot names and i i said well you know, we've been down this road before, you know, the the best Texas mascot names. I'm always going to put Itasca Wampus Cats mm-hmm. at the top of the list. And I said, you can put the Hutto Hippos right there. We're all used to the Hippos, but it sounds unique to so many people. And it is unique. It's the only Hippos in Texas. And the Grandview Zebras and the Canipa Purple Rock Crushers and the El Campo Rice Birds and the Rock Springs Angoras. And I said, who would want to name their mascot after a goat with long silken hair? That's what an Angora is. Robstown's one of those that all Cotton stands pickers, out yep, for me. Yep, yep, yep. There's that one. Yeah, absolutely. So there's a lot of those. And then I said there's some uh, – but in terms of the wheels off stuff, I said there's some honorable mentions. Uh, the uh, Glendale Dynamiters in California. Uh, the uh, Marlton Devil Dogs in uh, Arkansas mm. where they've got these big gargoyle uh, – uh, uh, statues up there gaps wow, you know uh weird about that my wife has family that they teach in the uh marlton schools oh really so yeah. they're they're quite comfortable i've been dogs. to marlton arkansas craig all right you've been there in devil yeah. dog country yeah. uh gab's tarantulas in in gab's nevada and the Canapolis wonder boys which was in my high school's district or conference as they call it back then they they went with the wonders for short but the five most bizarre as i call them mascot names for me High school number five from Churchland, Virginia, the Churchland Truckers. And that that one's I kind of dig that one for some. Everybody kind of likes that one a little bit. It's it's just weird. They it's called the Truckers it has nothing to do with truck driving or anything really. They just like the logo, the keep on trucking dude from the seventies, and they adopted that. Um, number four was the Saint Stanislaus Rockachaws. This was from Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, down along the Gulf so Coast. Weird private Catholic school. When I called down there, because I would call these principals and school officials to to get the history of why the mascot name was chosen. Mm-hmm. And in St. Stanislaus, I got a hold of Brother Akin Gautier of uh, St. Stanislaus in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. And he said, a rocket chaw is kind of a sticky little buh. And I said, what? A sticky little bug. You know, that you walk on in. It was, I said, oh, you mean like those sticker balls that you'd walk yeah. on, that little stem on the end? Yeah, that's their mascot name. That was number four. Number three was the Orofino Maniacs from Orofino, Idaho. And I thought, well, that's kind of an aggressive name, but it was kind of weird. Yeah. So I called to talk to the principal, and the school custodian answers the phone. And I said, he said, yeah, they're all down at the pep rally. So it was like about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. They're down at a pep rally, so I'm the only one here. And I said, well, maybe you can help me on this. Why would the school choose the name Maniacs? He said, you know what? I really don't know. Some people think it's because we have a state mental hospital right down the road from us, but I don't think that's the reason. I'm like, okay. Uh, number two. We'll go with that. That sounds, yeah. that sounds fitting. Number two is a, a school that no longer carries this mascot name due to controversy. In Devil's Lake, North Dakota, they're the Devil's Lake Satans. And they had a little, you know, kind of like a yeah. deep blue devil type of logo, but they went by the Satans. The school board finally booted it out and uh Problem, and, good call yeah and, and so they let the students choose the name so they wanted to kind of keep it in that realm so they went with the blaze but the school officials thought that was a drug reference you know like blazing a fatty or hooting a spliff you know something like that so they tossed it out and so they ended up with the firebirds and then the number one high school bizarre mascot name of all time i've mentioned this before it has to be is from yuma arizona it's the yuma criminals yeah <laughs> and he said why would they a school pick criminals and when i talked to the principal she said it was because the original schoolhouse was in the old famous yuma prison mm-hmm. 
And um, there's even a movie called 310 to Yuma. It was redone in the mm -hmm. 2000s, yeah. but the original one had Glenn Ford in it. And about where he's got to transfer a prisoner there to the, the Yuma prison. And it was in the old original historic Yuma prison. And I laughed and I said, what were the school's original color? Black and white stripes? And she said, yes. <laughs> Just dead bad. I was like, okay, I'll make a note of that. So uh, that was it. That was that, that was, was why awesome. they had me on this morning. It's great. So and yeah. no, uh, texter, no. Uh, unfortunately, Gerald's mascot is not the armpits. So no, that's, uh, no, the, the that's cougars. just that's just hearsay.